Greens one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. Uh, today I'm going to be eating the right on trek uh, chicken alfredo with pasta. Um, they didn't send this to me. I purchased this myself because I wanted to try more than just their mac and cheese. So let's uh, get this broke up and we'll see what, what's inside. Alrighty, so here's the meal. <clears throat> And I'm getting outsmarted by the bag. So we got the, looks like the chicken. And then the uh, oxygen absorber. It's interesting that they have the chicken in a bag, but then it looks like they put all the Alfredo and everything and all the sauce mix down inside the bag with the meal. So they didn't do that with the uh, they didn't do that with the um, mac and cheese. They actually had all the sauce and the broccoli and beef. They had the sauce mix uh, different, but this is, looks like it's just chicken. So like I guess you could. Uh, so freeze dried chicken, I guess you could actually eat, if you're a vegetarian, you could give, trade somebody the chicken and then just go with the uh, chicken alfredo. That might be something to consider. You know what I was thinking about doing is, uh, I was thinking about doing an experiment and just pouring the hot water in here and letting it set up, but there's no zipper to seal it up again. So I guess we're just going to have to heat it up in the pot. So, all right, so I just cooked, just made a cup of coffee with this not long ago. And, uh, well, I, I literally just did it, but that video will be linked below if you've missed it. So it takes six ounces of water. Ferro CM rod here. Get the stove going. Money. All right. All right. So a couple things real quick. I get a little bit of uh, salt here. I add just a bit of salt to the water because it helps the water boil a little faster. Don't need a lot. Just a little sprinkle. And then, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and open up the chicken and pour it in, get the chicken in there. Even though I'm going to pour the whole thing in, but I don't have to open the chicken and add it. And then also stop and open the, and pour in the bag. So I'll just go ahead and open this now. And pour the chicken in. Get that ready to go. So there was, there's that. Put all my trash together so I can just throw it all away at once. Now I noticed that with this meal, it didn't come with Parmesan cheese like it did with the mac and cheese. So what I did is I brought my own from home. Because I don't know about you, but when I make pasta, I like to have Parmesan cheese with my pasta. It's just, it goes hand in hand, man. So, sort of one of those must-haves for me. It just feels wrong without it. All right, let's, I think I'm seeing some steam action. Let's, uh, yep, we got bubbles. So, I want to make sure I grab the handles before I dump the stuff in, because I'm a klutz, and I will probably make a big mess and knock it over, which would be awful. You guys can laugh at me in the comments. Go, oh, you tool. You're like, yep, that was me. Pot holder. Give this a stir. My buddy uh, DC Outdoors had actually made this as well, so I should probably link his channel in the description. 
now that I've mentioned him. Real good dude. Been uh, digging his content. Since I subbed his channel, I've been really digging it. Put the lead back on. Alright. Alright, so I just realized it said to cook on low for three to four minutes, except I have no way of turning down the heat on this, so... Yeah, well, you know, what are you going to do? But you can't exactly turn down a campfire either, so. I just have to stir it a little bit more often. I really, By the way, I really like chicken alfredo, so. Like, a lot. You know, I was just thinking, <clears throat> uh, the, uh, I think the fuel is actually starting to run out, so it's actually doing me a favor by um, the fuel, the stove is actually turning down on its own because the fuel is getting low, so I may have lucked out. Sweet. So it's only been a couple minutes since I put it on, but I think I may have run out of... Mm, I see some activity, but I'm not really feeling any. Well, I feel a little heat. I wonder if I could add a little fuel. So it was actually still going. And it just flared back up again, so. We'll give it a couple more minutes. I'm, I'm actually surprised it didn't flare up and burn me. That would have been awful. <clears throat> So that little burst of heat uh, really gets this thing going. So not a lot of liquid on the bottom, but I'm gonna give it just a little bit more, and then we're gonna go ahead and yank it and let it sit and do its thing for a minute or two. I've been licking the spoon. I'll tell you, it's pretty tasty. We will call. That good enough. Let's get that off. All right, now we wait. All right, so it's been three minutes. It's actually been four because I, I stopped to take pictures. And uh, get some Parmesan in here. Oops, I got it all. I spilled the entire bag. Well, darn. Guess I'll just have to eat it like that. Haha. -ha. I'm out, not a lot of moisture left because of the uh, stove being on high, but sure looks and smells good. Alrighty, give this stuff a taste. And that's what she looks like: chicken alfredo with pasta. You know what? Looks really good. Yeah. Chicken is nice and tender. Alfredo's got a real nice flavor to it. For sure. I would eat this again anytime. Out of the park. I would have added Parmesan cheese though. So uh, this whole thing is uh, 520 calories. 
three, four minutes of cooking time, three minutes sit, hydration, six ounces of water. Yeah, money. I forgot how much it costs, but you know what I can do it. I can look it up on my phone since I have uh, data coverage here. When I come back, I'll uh, tell you how much it costs. All right, well, I'll tell you what, clean pot. It was really good, really good. Good to the last drop. I would, uh, I'd get that again anytime. By the way, the uh, meal, for the single meal, let me get into my phone real quick because I had to set it down by eight. The uh, single meal was $7.99, so eight bucks. Now they have a double for $13.99 or a triple for $25.99. But you know, if you just if you're like me and you camp by yourself, it's uh Oh, I'm sorry, the $25.99 was for four people. Oh, I didn't know you could choose okay, that's interesting. So you could choose any add-ons, you could choose uh grated parmesan for 25 cents more. Or um, organic olive oil for 75 cents more. Or crushed red pepper flakes for zero. I didn't see that when I ordered. <clears throat> so you could have added it for a quarter more. What I did though is I just brought in my own Parmesan from home in a zip top bag as you guys saw and it worked just fine. So there was an option. Good to know. All right. Now what I want to do real quick before I end this is uh, I want to put a little water in here and swirl it around like I did the other pots and see how easy it cleans up. <clears throat> well, it didn't completely clean out as easy, but you know, I mean, if you were by a river, you could you could rinse that out easily enough. All right, so what I actually did is I just uh, I put a little bit more water in here, and I just used my index finger, and I just moved it around. Now it's nice and clean. See that? Well, alrighty, just uh, wrapping up. Got everything all packed up. You know, while I was packing up, I, I had a thought, and, and that was, uh, would I, if I didn't like the meal, would I still say I, would, would I still say it was good? And honestly, I wouldn't. I would take it out in the woods, and I'd take the camera with me, and you'd see me dumping it in the, dumping it like like you know you'd see me just dumping it out because I wouldn't want to see someone waste money on a meal that's not good but you know that's just but I, I can't really say because you know your tastes are different than mine so you know what's what would be good for me may not be good for you but I actually enjoyed it and uh, I would get it again for sure and I probably most likely will be ordering a couple more for just later trips. And I've got one more right on Trek meal I still need to try. And um, I don't know when I'm gonna get to it because I'm gonna be taking a little break from filming, but you know, it's only, the break's gonna be over like that. So anyway, uh, all the links will be down in the description. I think I mentioned uh, DC Outdoors, Fab Creations, I'll put their links description. And then I will, uh, I'll link right on Trek's website, but I'll also link their store because uh, when I click on meals, it takes you to a, another page that 
like it, it'll, it'll separates it by it actually does it it goes like day one day two day three so you can actually plan your whole trip and, and like add a bunch of meals to your and then they add uh, a bunch of other stuff which I thought was kind of cool but you know when I if I was just buying the meals you know it's like well take take me to the freaking meals so you have to actually go to the store which I'll just link the store directly so you can just go straight to it and as always I thank you again for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day.